So this is one of my old canvases and I gave it a coat of gesso so I can recycle it and use it again. Today's video is part of another video hop. This one is organized through the CAC Facebook group and many artists signed up for it. So the theme of it is colors. Of course, that could mean a whole lot of different things. So it's up to each of us to pick whatever we want to cover uh, related to colors. It could be uh, color combinations, our favorite colors, how we like to mix colors, color theory, or whatever we like. Now, before I get started with colors, I added some texture paste to my canvas, more or less to even out some of the texture which was already there. And then when it was dry, I sanded it down. So I have a fairly smooth and yet slightly textured surface. Then another coat of gesso and I will be working with very simple acrylic paints. Now for the most part I combine different mediums, paints and so on with collage elements to create my art. That's really the type of style I prefer and I work in the most. But ever so often I will do a painting. I've been especially experimenting with abstracts and so I thought I'd do a really simple one today where I can use plenty of colors, make it very colorful, try out different color combination, different blends and so on. I will stay away from any kind of design or shapes and just have some playtime here. So I hope you will enjoy watching me put this together. I started of course with easy colors. The yellow, the orange, the reds, those are warm colors and blend very nicely together, look great together and they don't create mud. So those are very safe colors. But of course a splash of blue or teal looks great next to yellow and orange different greens as well. Now when you get the blues close to the reds, you get purple, right? Now when you get the reds close to green, you get brown and that often means mud. So with the green, you have to be a little careful. So this is about as far as my color theory goes. From here on, I will pipe up whenever I have to explain something. I might add captions if I use anything besides acrylic paints, but for the most part, I think everything will be very easy for you to follow. So enjoy.
Now, as you can see, I use my fingers a lot, not just because they are great tools for blending, but also because it makes it a bit more organic, a bit more free, a bit more loose, and a bit more fun. Next, I will be adding some white splatter. I use white and black in nearly all of my pieces. It seems that those bring out the colors even more, they refine spaces, they make things more interesting, and give it a bit of a pop. Next, I'm adding some simple lines using a credit card and I use uh, copper metallic paints. Now, metallic paints are one of my favorites. I use them in many of my projects because it seems to me that they bring in extra dimension because of the shine and I like the effect. So I finally finished up my contribution of black to the piece and that completes the look. Now the small details of rub and buff, white dots and lines really make those cells sparkle. And that pretty much brings me to the end of the painting part, uh, but now I want to add some varnish to it. To do so, I use a damp piece of foam, and this way I do not get any streaks, which might happen if I use a paintbrush. I get a very thin layer, and it will bring out the colors even more, and of course protect the canvas at the same time. So here is my rather simple but colorful and playful abstract. I hope you enjoyed watching me put this together. And please don't forget to check out the links below in my description box so you can see all the other videos created by many other artists about color. You may also follow the hashtag CACColorHop. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming. I see you soon again and bye bye for now. <music>